going to describe now how to assemble a UHF grid aerial. These are great aerials because they get, have a very high gain, they work on any UHF transmitter and um, they're quite popular now but they've been increasingly popular with the um, um, digital terrestrial television that will come down the line. So this aerial here is uh, will work both with the digital and it will also work with the current analog system. So it comes in three parts. Um, you have, uh, this is the grid. It works as a deflector, so it deflects away unwanted signal from other transmitters. This is made up of four dipoles. This is what pulls in the signal. And this is the actual bracket that's used to mount this uh, area onto a um, pole. Now, in this particular situation here, um, if we were to mount it this way, uh, it would mean that uh, the, the area would be mounted uh, horizontally. But we don't want the area to be mounted that way. It would relate mount it to be mounted vertically. So the very first thing we're going to do is then just going to disassemble this particular um, thing and remount pull it this way. to join the two main parts of the pole together, um, of the aerial together. So I just take apart these components here. Disassemble this part, and this assemble the next part. What we do here now is Just the same process on the bottom, and the same bracket is used. And slide it through either ways, and there it is. So, there is little locking nuts on it, um, locking washers, which catch uh, wing nuts, and the idea with those is it will stop this um, the bracket part from becoming loose uh, subsequently. So that is the grid aerial more or less fully assembled in terms of it's taken on its overall shape. Now I'll come along and I'll put a bracket on the back of it. So I like to normally mount it in the centre here, I think that probably works best. Um, In terms of the overall shape of the pole here now, of the aerial, uh, that's um, more or less how we want the aerial to look and when it's fully assembled. Now you can see here that um, if you see a little bit further, and I've actually disassembled this here, or perhaps the bracket to loosen it off, and this will allow us subsequently to mount this um, onto a pole, such as the pole that we have behind us here. So I think actually at this stage, that's what exactly what I'll do. I'm going to mount this onto this pole. I have a 10 millimeter socket with myself here. Now clearly if you're actually going to do this up in a roof, you do all of the assembly work fully on the ground first. But for this particular example, I think this will work quite well.
easier to explain in the next stage of the process. Now, you can mount this aerial upside down or the right way around, uh, but if you mount it upside down, the major problem you run into is because of this hole here, the water will follow the cable in. So when the cable is coming out of this aerial, you always want to be pointing downwards, okay? So the next part of the process is actually the gubber cable that I have um, cut down to size already. And what we're going to do here is we're going to shove this into the uh, aerial. And we are, I need a flathead screwdriver for this. So I'll loosen up these screws here. The two parts of the cable here, um, the center core there is called the core uh, wire and the outside uh, cable is called earth wires. So we'll shove this up through this. Snips, so that's the excess wire here. Shift this up a little bit further now. So I tighten in the, the center core wire, I tighten in the earth wire, and what I do now is area is now fully assembled. The important thing to look out for here is that the core and the earth wires are not touching each other. If they did, it would absolutely kill the signal. So now having verified that, we simply clip this cover back on. Clips on like that. Uh, to be sure, to be sure, you can now use insulation tape, wrap it around to stop it coming off. But in general, it's quite secure. It's a quite a good design. Um, and that's it. That's the aerial fully assembled. I have a connector on the back of this. If we plug this into a television now, we'll actually get a thing. So from beginning to end, that's the assembly of a, a, an aerial.